So today we're going to talk about the toxic effect of nutrients. And I'm talking about excessive amounts, okay, toxic amounts of certain nutrients and, and what can happen if you take too much. And all the other videos that talk about deficiencies, today we're going to reverse the flow and talk about the opposite effect. Now, when the studies were done in vitamin A and vitamin E and some of the other antioxidants, you have to realize that they're using synthetics. So when you take high amounts of synthetic antioxidants, it can create a lot of problems, one being cancer. And that's what they found when they did the study. But of course, they didn't use natural food-based antioxidants. They used synthetics. And I think the reason for that is that antioxidants basically give up electrons. So they're helping to stabilize free radicals by giving these electrons to this free radical, which now the free radical becomes stabilized. If you're taking a synthetic vitamin A, for example, it doesn't come from nature. In nature, it always comes in a network of antioxidants. And what happens is when one antioxidant donates an electron, this antioxidant becomes a free radical because it, it lost an electron. And if there's nothing else to donate and give it an electron to balance it out, it can create damage. And I really think that's why people get cancer after doing high levels of synthetic uh, vitamins, especially antioxidants. But if you have too much vitamin A, uh, it will impair your vision, which is interesting because if you're deficient in vitamin A, you also impair your vision. Bone pain, probably because of the relationship between vitamin A and vitamin D. If you have too much vitamin A, you deplete vitamin D and you get bone pain. This is why in nature, it always comes in complexes. Like cod liver oil, for example, you're going to see vitamin A and vitamin D together, like a 50-50 split. Too much vitamin A can irritate your skin. Too much vitamin E can cause a problem with bleeding internally because it, it, it's kind of like a blood thinner. Um, you might bruise easily, that type of thing. Fatigue, weak. Uh, not many other symptoms other than bleeding internally. Um, vitamin D. Now, there really is no side effects from high levels of vitamin D other than what happens to calcium. So you get too much calcium in the blood. And even with this, there's a lot of gray areas. There's not a lot of studies on this. So we don't even know if that's actually 100% true. But we do know the RDAs for vitamin D are meant or created to prevent rickets, which is a deficiency disease. They were not designed to create long-term health or longevity, uh, those type of things. The therapeutic benefit of high levels of vitamin D are huge. So one strategy is, is this to avoid taking cheese or calcium when you take vitamin D or even during the day. And that way you'll get the benefit of vitamin D, especially for autoimmune and inflammation without the chance of getting a kidney stone. So I've done videos on this before. And then we have vitamin C. And the big side effect is diarrhea, okay? Iron. Iron is a very, very um, important nutrient to get in small amounts if you need it. Uh, the danger of not having enough is huge. And the danger of having too much is very, very huge as well. Uh, so you just need the right amount. The problem with iron is it accumulates. Your body has a hard time getting rid of it. And it recycles it. And it accumulates in the liver and creates cirrhosis. It accumulates in the brain and it creates oxidation and even in your heart. And it can even cause cancer. It can cause constipation. And there's a condition called hemochromatosis, which is a genetic uh, disorder where you can't get rid of iron. And iron becomes very toxic on your body. And those people donate blood and they feel a lot better. I would use something called EDTA. That's a chelator that can help pull iron out of the body. Then we have iodine. If you have too much iodine, it can create a hyperthyroid condition. It can create a, um, a toxic effect to the thyroid. But if you don't have enough iron, that can create hypothyroidism. Now the problem with too much iodine is it depletes other minerals like selenium, okay, which is a trace mineral. And selenium is involved in some really key enzymes to help act as an antioxidant. So too much iodine binds up the selenium and then you don't have this, this enzyme anymore and you get more oxidation and more problem, especially with the thyroid 
being the hydrogen peroxide that can build up and create a lot of problems. Same thing with uh, fish that has mercury in it. If you have enough selenium, you're going to be fine. But mercury uh, tends to inhibit the selenium, and then you lose these enzymes. All right, magnesium. Okay, magnesium, a side effect would be diarrhea, low blood pressure, irregular heartbeats. Now, what's interesting with magnesium, if you don't have enough of it, you get irregular heartbeats. You get high blood pressure. You get constipation. Okay, come back to selenium again. One of the side effects of too much selenium is alopecia, where you're missing patches of hair through your head. Now, alopecia is an autoimmune condition usually involving a deficiency of zinc. So if you have too much selenium, it can deplete zinc and give you alopecia and dermatitis because the skin issues are related to low zinc. And then if you have too much zinc, you'll be deficient in copper and you'll have a problem absorbing copper. And there's a whole bunch of conditions with that, especially related to collagen and connective tissue. You might get a fever, gastritis. And then if you have the opposite of that, where you're deficient in zinc, you can get an ulcer. So I just wanted to show you that there is a relationship between nutrients. You shouldn't have this idea that if a little is good, a lot more is better. Uh, there's a lot of toxic effects, especially with trace minerals and synthetic vitamins. Try to get most of your nutrients from food or use vitamins or nutrients that are food-based. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.